and you thought it was bad before. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. You thought the events of the last two years were bad, right? People fist fighting over toilet paper, trying to hoard hand sanitizer, paper towels, masks, uh, what, rubbing alcohol, all the things. I'm going to talk about what's going to be really crazy. But first, if you guys like the community, the preparedness community, please subscribe to my channel and to all the prepper channels. Please spread the love, grow the community. It's very important. Also, thumbs up, commenting the videos, sharing the videos, all those things to help out my channel and all the other channels. I'm about spreading the love. I'm about building the whole community, not just my channel. That's, you know, yeah, I don't play that game. And if you really want to go more in depth on things, and especially like tactical defensive type stuff, um, Patreon, links in the description below, it's a dollar a month. So much content there, I, I can't even begin. Hundreds and hundreds of videos there. Um, so yeah, join us. I mean, come on, it's a dollar a month. If you can't afford a dollar a month, well, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't believe you, for one thing. <laughs> Um, it's a dollar a month, um, $12 a year. Come on. <clears throat> but anyway, not that I'm trying to pressure you at all. I'm just saying good community. I can actually speak my mind, not in parables like I have to hear. Um, you know, talking about tools and seeds and all the stupid things. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get on the video. Things were bad then. Can you imagine this? Now we all know, we all see what's going on in the world. We all hear about, um, Greece and Turkey. We hear about Russia and Ukraine. We hear about China and Taiwan. We hear about some stand versus another stand, another stand versus another stand, Israel and everybody else in the Middle East. We hear about this stuff increasing on an increasing basis. And now Russia's stepping up the game, um, you know, calling up reservists, mobilizing military. You know, like one, from what I've heard is anywhere from 300,000 to 1.3 million troops. Um, we see where this is going, right? It's, it's, it's just common sense. One thing to note, if you look on, if you look up the, um, the size of militaries in the world based on how many personnel they have in them, look it up. Make sure you get one in order of, not in alphabetical order, but one in order of the most troops to the least. United States is number three. Where is the next NATO country? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sri Lanka has more troops than France, Germany, England. I mean, come on, seriously? Yeah, South Korea, North Korea has more troops. Of course, North Korea does. They have way more troops. They have 1.3 million. France only has like 200,000. United Kingdom has less than 200,000, as in England, you know, Britain, all that, yeah. We see that we're being pushed in a world war. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like in the stores the second that everybody realizes that yes, this is actually a world war. And yes, it is actually gonna impact us. People are gonna lose their minds. That event two years ago was nothing compared to what you'll see coming up. Nothing. People will be especially preparedness, mind, preparedness items. People will be freaking out about potassium iodide, gas masks, uh, radiation suits, bunkers, um, expedited shelters, decontamination, um, food, water, medical, all the things. Where will they hit first? Probably the food and water and stuff like that. So what do we do as preppers? Because we don't just talk about problems here on this channel. Of course not. That would be dumb. We talk about solutions to the problems. What do we do? What do we do? It is simple. It's not complicated. We 
up our game. We start, if you're, if you're taking this seriously, if you're really taking it seriously, preparedness, if it is your lifestyle, if it is something you do on a regular basis, every single day, pre prepping a little bit, if you're learning skills, if you're stockpiling, if you're growing, if you're producing, all these things, and you're already taking it seriously. But no matter where you are, you can always up your game. If you're not taking this seriously, if you just watch these YouTube videos for entertainment purposes, okay, you do you. But I, <laughs> I recommend that you don't do that. I recommend that you take this seriously. I recommend that you go stop the video now. I don't even care if you watch my videos. Go to the store and get some preps, please. It's not about me and my channel. It's about empowering you so that you're ready. Part of it is selfish because why? The more people that are prepared, I say this all the time, the fewer people will be out there with their family starving in bad situations which makes them do bad things to other good people like you and me. I don't want people out there not prepared so they're trying to come and take my stuff. Now I get it, it's still gonna happen. But if we can lessen that number by one, two, ten, a hundred, a thousand, a million, think about better how better off we'll be. What our chances for survival will become. Much better. So part of it is selfish. But most of it is just the fact that I care about you guys. I want you to take this seriously. You gotta be proactive now. Don't wait until World War III is announced, whatever, because it won't be announced necessarily. <clears throat> we're pretty much in the beginning stages of it anyway. If you look back, World War I, World War II, it started. You know, it took a little bit before people realized, oh, hey, we're in a world war, you know? I mean, yeah, it takes a while. So we're already there. It's just, it hasn't been quote-unquote declared yet. So remember how people acted and how they're going to act when this really goes down. If you have a chance... Think about freedom seeds. Think about freedom seed holders and defensive tools. What do you think is going to go on with those once this becomes a official reality? Buy them now. Seriously. Buy food now. Buy all, all the things now. Try to find room in your budgets to take it seriously. Up your game. Don't procrastinate. Please don't procrastinate. Please don't think... Oh, well, I'll just wait a little bit longer and see what goes down, how it goes down. Trust me. Start now, please. Up your game. Go to the store today and tomorrow and the next day. Whatever you can afford, get. Ammo, ooh, I said the word, freedom seeds, are, have come back down to be fairly reasonable now. You can buy... M855 SS109 for about 45 50 cents per seed. That's not bad. That's almost back down to where it was, you know, before all this stuff got crazy the last time. And another thing to think about with speaking about that, those kind of things, the tools, the seeds, the, the, the accoutrements for all that stuff, we're entering a new election cycle. Even if nothing else happens with this whole world war thing, what happens in every electric election cycle? That stuff that I was just talking about, the prices, whew, the availability, whew, yeah. You want to get it now. You want to prepare now. Cut corners where you can. Don't go out to dinner. Don't spend money on things that aren't going to get you better prepared. I get it. There's nice things in this world. There's temptations all around us. But we have to put those temptations to the side. Just like God told us with all the good that we're supposed to be doing and the evils that we're supposed to avoid. Avoid those temptations. Put your money where it does the most good. Medical preps. Defensive preps. Food. Water. You will have to eat. Period. You will have to drink. Period. You may or may not need a defensive tool. I firmly believe that you probably will need one at some point or another, whether it's for, um, you know, hunting deers with body armor, <laughs> as uh, yeah, Brandon likes to say, 
um, or if it is defending your home from the Golden Horde or from out of control agencies or foreign invasion or, 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 right? This world is going crazy. It's topsy-turvy. It's, it's just, it's going to get worse. This isn't slowing down. It's an agenda. I mean, it's all just, it's nothing to be super scared of or anything like that. It's just, it's part of the agenda. We have to play along. We have to play within the system to get ourselves ready to be outside the system, right? Let's use the system for what it can give us to get ready to defend our rights, our lives, our way of life, our nation, our neighborhoods, whatever may be, our family, our home. Work inside the system, use it to prepare to be outside of it. Being outside of it is the best way to go because then you're not affected by things as much. You're less likely to be controlled by those that wish to control you. And like I said, once this thing really starts kicking off, people are going to go crazy. The stores are going to be empty like that. Probably day one. Like a lot of preppers and preparedness channels talk about like, you know, three days. And the stores will be out of food in three days. Well, I'll tell you what. If this whole thing kicks off officially and we're in World War, they'll be empty in a day. Max two days. It won't take three days for the stores to get emptied. They won't. It won't. People, especially in the United States, will freak out. We're so blessed, but yet because of that, we're so spoiled. Think about how many Americans are so spoiled. Our whole lives are spoiled. We live in climate controlled houses. We live on, we, we sleep on soft beds. We get up, we put on clean, dry clothing. We get in vehicles that are nice and you know, everything is just nice. Not everyone. I get it. Some people are suffering. Some people don't have as much as others, but still, even somebody that is really poor in this country is still amazingly better off than a lot of people in a lot of countries. So think about that. Remember our blessings. But use those blessings to prepare within the system to exist outside the system. To be a benefit to society. To be part of the solution, not the problem. I love you guys very much. I want you to please take action now not later don't wait take action now have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours